uh, suffice to say that was uh, a uh, positive response you got out there, and uh, it has to be pretty uh, good after all this time to hear people see Shield and see that reaction. Oh my gosh, yes, it, it was overwhelming. Um, because, you know, we've been operating in a bubble for a while now, and the only people we get to share any of it with is each other and the people we work with. And so it was really nice to finally hear ideas that we had in our head and jokes that we had and emotional moments being sort of the response was great. Right, and, and when you multiply that response by, by that thousands many thousands of people, of people <laughs> you can actually hear it. And yeah. it, so it was unbelievable. It was definitely a dream come true for sure. Uh, you know, Avengers really helped uh, grow Coulson as a character, but are you excited on this show to really get to know him more than we ever have? Maybe uh, find out a little bit more about that violinist and et cetera going on in his life? Cellist. Cellist, that's right. Thank you. Oh, man. Thank you for correcting me before the people in the comments did. Right. Um, yeah, we've only seen glimpses of Coulson through the movies, and I, I think it'll be nice to sort of explore that character. Um, establish him as someone who's got swagger and authority within his own group and Clark is just such a wonderful person to work with and uh... writing Coulson is the easiest job in the world yeah. it's it seems that you can't go wrong so it makes you feel like you're really smart when really he's just very good at saying the lines yeah. <laughs> Now you've got obviously with Shield and the idea that these people are emerging out there, uh, the framework that can give you you know cases for them to work on. But are you looking to sort of weave in and out more of the mythology that Joss obviously is known for? Yeah, for sure. You know, we're, we're operating in the same universe as the films, so we're trying to weave in and out of that mythology as well as generate our own and. and uh, one of the things that's fun is the Marvel universe is so vast that while we're thinking up ideas, we can always go and just say, yeah, does, does someone oh, in your universe have that? They already skill? exist. Yeah, they already <laughs> exist. So it works both ways. We have stuff to pull from and we have stuff to frame in a Marvel way uh, down the and line. I'm hopeful that the hardcore Marvel fans will respond to the people that, the characters that we are creating. Yeah. Since it does take place in the same universe, when, say, a movie like Captain America, uh, the Winter Soldier opens next year, if something happens in that movie, are you looking to not have it be like you have to see both, but have those sort of, you know, the, the feeling that an event happened? I don't think it'll ever be you have to see both, yeah. but if you happen to see both, it'll be a more gratifying experience to watch either the film and the you know, TV show. Right. We're hoping that we can play with some of the fallout from the films, but also tee up stuff. Uh, for the films, um, you know, there's a lot of parties that play and there's a lot of information there, and, but we're in constant contact with features and uh, we think that there's a, it'll be very rewarding on both ends, for sure. Uh, as you know, uh, the uh, shows that Joss has worked on, you guys have worked on, people love a lot of those actors. Are, there, are you thinking ahead of people you might want to have show up at some point that you worked with in the past? It wouldn't be a Whedon show if uh, we didn't, didn't do it. They didn't pop their yeah. little heads in, their weird little heads. <laughs> Um, yeah, you know, we have ideas, but it, we're, everything's up in the air and we're figuring it out. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, thanks a lot. Congratulations again. Yeah, thank you.